Hi again. This video is about providing some information or clarity that can help with your experiences. A few days ago, I ran a poll on the channel asking what's your biggest challenge. Almost 50% of the answers, there were around 50 voters, around half of them said that their main issue is motivation and consistency. So I'll, I'll quickly speak on this before other points. So for motivation, if you feel the benefits of the tape after doing it, that is really the only real motivation you need. The, the, the benefits are clear. The feelings we get after a tape, if you get them, that should be enough to make you want to do it again. But motivation and consistency is different. It's really hard to find the right time to do it. Especially if like, usually the, the easiest time, the most time free we have is usually at night before going to bed. But it's not really recommended to do the tape before going to bed because it's gonna be way too easy to sleep and not finish the tape. So we have to try to do it during the day or when we're not tired and it's really difficult. But my recommendation is that first don't put any don't put a pressure on yourself. Don't 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 make this like seem like a, a chore or a job. Like you should want to do it and in, enjoy doing it, and you should you should look forward to doing it. For consistency and just to keep it going, my 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 main recommendation is just to try to do one tape per week. Try maybe on Sundays. Try to do one tape per week. That's okay. And then sometimes, you know, every week, whenever you have some free time, extra time, do another tape. That would make it like two tapes a week. But really don't put any pressure on yourself or expectations. So, so yeah. I also wanted to provide some information and clarity about resonant tuning. So basically, just so we can understand like the purpose of it and how it helps. B basically, resonant tuning helps us raise our vib vibrations you feel the vibrations when you're doing it and what resonant tuning does is, is it tries to create the right circumstances and environment to have out-of-body experiences to have more than physical experiences and real not dream or imagine imagination experiences so resonant tuning it might seem kind of weird but there's a whole science between the how the effect of controlling our voice can affect our physical body, how we can create vibrations. We can heal specific parts of our body just, just by using resonant tuning in different ways. But the main thing here our, in, in the gateway, resonant tuning is to create the right environment conducive to have an out-of-body experience. So I just wanted to show like why we do this because some people might, might be confused about it like the effect and and the power of it some people also voted that they can't get into focus 10 or focus 12. what i can say to those people first of all i hope you already watched my video about tips i will try to include it now so i hope you watched that first where i shared uh, other ideas on how to help reach focus 10 or focus 12. but what i can say is that first of all these focus levers are real I can clearly feel a difference when I enter each focus level. It's very clear and obvious the difference of each focus level. The other thing I have to say is, okay, make sure you're doing it in a very calm environment and you're not angry before doing a tape. You really have to be already pretty calm, not agitated, not have expectations or try to shape your expectations or how it should be, how it should feel. Everyone's experience is different. What else I can say is that we have all reached the, and been in Focus 10 or Focus 12, even other focus levels. Even people who never did meditation or never uh, did the gateway tapes, they have also been in the state. Focus 10 is when you, you can't really feel your body, but you're awake. Everyone at some point were in a certain, had create, cultivated an environment unintentionally to be to, to, to create a focus then like body asleep mind awake so you can get there you can reach this focus level it's just finding out how what is the way for you so my advice is that make that like your main priority don't worry about finishing a tape 
or doing a tape. You will start a tape and only do the beginning part, focusing on getting into focus 10 right. Stop the tape after, like that should be your only focus. Getting into focus 10, don't worry about the rest of the tape. That should only take a couple of minutes per day. You could just do that a couple of days, a couple of minutes per day, listening to the beginning of a tape, and you're gonna try to find your own way to get into focus 10 or focus 12. Focus on that, don't, put it, don't be too hard on yourself. And it's important not to shape or have expectations of your experiences. I, I share my experiences, but they can slightly be different for you. If you don't have the same final result as me, that doesn't mean it didn't work for you. You, you will know if it works, right? But do not shape your experiences. Try to force it or expect it to be a certain way. Just, just go, go with the flow. Really, really, just go with the flow. And that's another important thing that I see a lot in comments and online in forums about the gateway tapes. There is a lot of fear, a lot of fear. But this fear comes from people not being able to control their experiences, so they are worried about what can happen in other states. Because I understand that there's also the fear of what we might understand, the information we might find, that maybe the experiences we have are going to affect us. But really, I, I believe this is not the time for fear. We should not fear improving, understanding better, and getting new information, new experiences. We don't. We don't have to try to control them and we don't have to fear them, fear of the unknown. So I just, it's really hard to explain why maybe I don't have fear, but I just really feel like this is not the time for fear. It's more excitement. And I, I am totally aware that maybe it's possible that I can have a bad experience. And I have, if you did watch, uh, what tape did it happen? It was, it was because of manifestation that something bad happened to me. I am someone who believes in blessings in disguise or things happening for a reason. So if, maybe why I don't have fear is if because something can, like bad happens to me, I don't take it as a bad thing. Um, because, okay, I understand that something bad happened to me, but the result of that was incredible. I had so much time off that I was able to find solutions to my <coughs> manifestation uh, uh, want, what I wanted from my manifestations. After what happened to me, I had more time to work on them. I, I can give you another example. When, like This was like maybe like 10 years ago, I broke my right hand. So I had to wear a cast, but I'm right-handed. I, I, I swear, I, I wasn't really angry because I saw this as an opportunity to learn how to, to write, brush my teeth, and do stuff with my other hand. So what might seem like a bad thing, depending on perspective, can actually be a good thing. I didn't, I saw this as an opportunity to learn, to appreciate what I had before, my right hand, and, and I just learned so much more, especially patience. You know, when, when you, you're like half handicapped, you learn a lot of things. So maybe that's why I am not, I'm not really fearful of doing the tapes because of my perspective and, and my interpretation of things. Something else I believe can be helpful for many people is how we understand or interpret our experiences, how we understand the meaning behind them and what happened. This is, this is difficult for me at the beginning but I'm going to try to provide some tips that could help you with your interpretations. So first of all, what I, one thing that hap, ha, helps me a lot is the, there's an app. It's kind of like a, a dream app, a, an app that tries to show you the meanings behind your dreams. But I, I use it for my experiences with the gateway, not with the, my dreams. And this helps me a lot understand some, some parts of my experiences. It provides really great information like uh, first perspective on on what happened so i'm going to share the app 
I'm not I'm not related or affiliated to the app. It's totally free. It's a really cool, easy to use app that that, that could that could be very useful. Another thing that helped me with interpreting is going back on on my old gateway experiences and seeing what happened after them and making a link. I hope you find the information in this video helpful and I've been having a great time talking to many of you in our Discord group chat. We are learning so much things from each other. The, the, the resources that we share and the way we can provide advice for someone else's experience is incredible. Like, I'm learning a lot. Even this thing about resonant tuning that I mentioned to you, it's, it's thanks to one of the members that provided a video and the text that, that really um, made it clear to me the purpose and importance of resonant tuning. So it's been awesome. I'm, I'm, I really like reading about all of your experiences. I'm excited about what's coming. And I really have to say, guys, the gateway tapes are only the beginning. With, with our community, we found several ways that we can use to reach Focus 49. But since the tape stopped at Focus 21, many people think that, yeah, the, the gateway is the end. But no, I really believe it's just the beginning. And no rush. Don't put pressure on yourself. Do things at your own pace. And, and let's go. Let's keep it going. I'll talk to you soon. Good luck.